In this quick guide we're going to show you how to manually install a factory image on your Nexus device. This particular video shows Android Lollipop, but you can apply the same steps to every firmware. The same process should also work on Macs, but you have to take note that every command will have to be preceded by dot slash. So let's begin! Before we get started with the process itself we need some tools. Fastboot, the factory image you want to flash, which you can find in the links below, and unzippers such as 7-zip, the drivers for your device. You could use many different options for Fastboot, but the ADB all-in-one executable is the more convenient, I think, so I'll link it in the description. You'll also find some different options for the drivers, just in case. Before flashing the image, I strongly recommend bagging everything up, as the process will erase all of your data. If you have the Google account synced, you should be fine, but you can also use some third-party apps like Helium, just for extra safety. Take note that, even if the process is not dangerous in general, and it won't void your warranty, you could have some problems, so I suggest taking two extra precautions. 1. Make sure your device is more than 60% charged. 2. Use a laptop for the process if you have one, as it is less likely to turn off during the process, should you unfortunately have a blackout. To flash the image, you'll need to have the USB debug activated. If that's not the case, go to About Phone or Tablet and tap on Build Number 7 times until it says you are now a developer. Go back and you'll find the new menu Developer Options. Tick USB Debugging On so that when you plug in the device in your machine, the message USB debugging connected will appear in the notifications. Now, install both the unzipper and the drivers for your device and check if it is properly recognized by your machine. Unzip the downloaded image in a safe and easy to remember location. I personally suggest the desktop. Now open the Fastboot app you'll find in the download links. With the command ADB reboot bootloader, we will reboot the device to be ready for the installation, and you'll see this horrible page displayed on your device. If your device is locked, you should now execute the command fastboot oem unlock. Give it the permission and it will now reboot. Go back to bootloader mode. Now from your ADB prompt, let's navigate to the directory you've unzipped the image to. In our case, we'll say cd, as in change directory, desktop, razor lrx to 1p. Now that we're here, use the command flash all exactly as I wrote it. The installation should start and the device should go on and off a couple of times. Don't worry, it's perfectly normal, just have a coffee in the meantime. When you come back from your coffee break, the fastboot process will be completed and the device should be already rebooting by itself. Don't worry if it takes longer than usual, there are some extra tasks it has to do during the first boot. When the boot ends, set up the new system, then I strongly suggest locking the bootloader again, to avoid problems with the warranty. The process is the same, you just have to arrive to the fastboot part and this time execute fastboot oem lock. That's it, you are now completely done and ready to enjoy your new update. So this was how to flash an image on your next device, leave us a thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe. I'm Joe from the Nerd Herd and I'll see you next time.